Hi everyone, this is Raybo, and we're just going to do two things today um, with Banner Lords 2. And I, I'm starting a new game, and I want to use my own preset that I have made in a previous game in this new game. So I'm going to hit my Windows key on the keyboard. I'm in the character creation. I'm going to go to my desktop. And I have a file of presets. And I have a preset I like here, which is this preset called Done. And let's get the 18-year-old done. I'm just going to go copy. And I can close this. Go back in game. Go ahead and change it to female. And I'm going to hit Control V. And there's done. So done is now in my game. Um, that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys is just that shortcut when you create a preset in a previous game, um, you can carry it over to your next game. Now, if it was a uh, preset here that you wanted to save, it's the same process only in reverse. I would hit Control C, um, pop out of the game. So I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to hit the Windows key again. And I'm going to go here to my um, own preset folder. And done. I haven't changed anything, so it's going to be identical. So let's uh, match it up here. And hit Control V. And as you can see, all the values are identical. And that's the, the preset there that... Um, I'm going to use to start the game. Anyway, now we're going to move on to uh, the next thing I wanted to show everyone in this game. Okay, we're back on the desktop, and I think this is the... I'll just do the quickest way possible here, because some of you already know what the um, cheat terminal is. So I'm just going to hit my library or files, and you want to go to My Documents. So I'm going to go to my documents here and um, my games, yep, not my games, or the Mountain Blade. And we're going to see configs. So configs is the folder you want to look for. So it's this PC, my documents, Mountain Blade, Bannerlord, configs. And you want to go down here to engine config. And you're going to see cheat mode is right here. And yours should say zero, which means off. I've changed it to one. Now let's open this with a uh, um, notepad. So mine's at line 14. So all you do here, I've just changed it to off hit save now it's off and open up again cheat mode ah. cheat mode I'm going to change it to one hit save here's the file path here's the file and I will see you guys back in game to, to look at this really cool developer console. Thank you. Hi, everyone. All right, now we're back in game. And the two things I'm going to show you guys here is how to activate the gaming console. And to do that, you're going to hold Alt and click Tile. And this is the, the cool Banner Lords 2 developer console. And here, if I type in a keyword that whatever console command, you know, start the console command I start with, um, whatever word it starts with, you can just type it in. So I, I know it's campaign. And so I click campaign. And I know I'm going to add gold. And I want to add gold to hero. So instead of memorizing all these, uh, different console commands or looking them up in a piece of paper, it'll auto-complete for you until you get to a point where you can see the command that you want to use. 
and I'm gonna hit space and I'm gonna add because I've already done it here I don't know why I missed hitting the record key and I'm gonna add 50 so now I'm at 1600 dinars right here and add 50 more and it goes up 50 so that's the the gaming console now given this game is in early access um, this is a great tool to uh, use to get through some of the grind that there's a lot of features in this game that haven't been implemented yet so at some point you can either you know because the uh, from one patch to another something changed let's say the workshops um, don't give you as much gold um, you didn't realize that you built all your workshops in one factions area and when they turned hostile because you came a vassal you lost all your access to gold and you're not paying attention and your your game is progressing and you need to add do something in game to prevent from having to roll back and giving yourself some time to uh, realign your game um, console commands are a great tool I came from the Bethesda side and you couldn't finish Fallout 4 without console commands in the vanilla game uh, when it was first released. So a great tool. The autocomplete feature is just fantastic and it's going to prevent me from having to have all my uh, Excel lists sitting at the, the desktop. So that is what I call the gamer console or the, the developer console. So to close this, you're going to hold Alt and hit Tile again. Now, I am not in a settlement. If I went to a settlement, I'm going to get the normal trade menus. So let's run over here. I want to talk to that guy. And I could go here and buy products, and I'm only going to have these choices. Now, here's where changing it from zero to one not only enables the developer console it enables cheat mode which i'm not quite as a big fan of but um if you go here to your inventory if you hadn't activated cheat mode you would not have anything over here but since you have you're going to have access to all these cool items and um things in game now here there's a purebred horse and you can see here that it probably I don't know why the developers have it in there probably to, for people just like me but that's a great horse and the stats are fantastic and it's gonna be a long time before this player can actually or this character can get to one of these other uh, levels to take on these uh, um, other horses here you got a great stat horse that's horse tier six and you don't have to go through the grind of getting a good horse a war horse here so in cheat mode I can just literally take this horse over put it in my inventory or put it right here on done and now she has this fantastic purebred horse instead of the dumpy old um, stumper horse so I just cheated. Um, I gave myself a great horse, and obviously this is a um, the kind of horse. Did I get put ten of them over there? Good lord! I need ten. So let's put them back. But anyway, every time you open it up, everything will default to ten, and you can cheat any item in that the developers have put in this field, and it's pretty much. I would assume it's every item in the game. So anyway, Not Done has a much faster horse. And uh, she is ready to go. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope the console commands help you uh, enjoy the game a little bit more and uh, help you progress the game as they uh, roll out with all these new patches and and your mods become uh, inaccessible for periods of time. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, since we're uh, doing a video, I might as well show everyone what, what mods I'm using. Um, these are the mods I'm using. 
and here is my load order and uh, I've used these mods here for about probably about a hundred hours because it's been a long time since the last patch so uh, anyone who needs uh, help with what mods maybe to start the game with uh, I find I, I like this very much and the one thing I'll say if you don't want your game instantly uh, broken once they come out with one of these hot fixes you want to go over here to Mountain Bait Blade Banner Lord um, right click on it go to properties hit updates and only update this game when I launch it and that's the Steam launcher so you're gonna see the next time they do a patch or hotfix it's gonna say update here and uh, install here you don't want to use the Steam launcher use either a modded launcher or the vortex launcher which is what I use and start the game that way until you're ready till the mods that you have installed are ready to go or you choose to I find I got a pretty stable game here that was pretty fun so I'm gonna kinda keep it that way